JUTM features of our Juniper box. Okay, root. And uh, remember all these UTM features, it is recommended to work on to graphical, not on to this. Because you can't write all the websites which you need to block, all the signatures and all the stuff. When you are using it as an UTM, it is recommended to work on to graphical. Okay, perfect. So using management IP address, I'm trying to do a HTTP. Today I have done successfully this. Today why it is giving error, I don't know. Management interface, I added into functional zone management. So, edit security, edits, oh, I'm in CLI, configure, I'm in secondary. Oh, because of preempted, this becomes secondary, right? I will log in into primary box. Okay. Primary box, I mean. Okay. So, show security. Management IP 0 0.19 connect call or 2 connect call, sir. Show security zones, functional zone, management. But it can FXP interface add jail actually. Then add this term, Brahmana Manish. Huh? Kad kad, morning kad, then a sign from who? Then any is a new and a sign from box with code, Matan configure just petition. Set interface. FXP0 by default FXP0 is management interface. Chudu Anni Jubisan the FXP0 Jubichalante FXP0 is already part of management. Atlanta Pudu FXP0 interface IP one ninety two dot one sixty eight R Management interface IP kada hai. Ha, atla kada. Nu alo ichin nanta synchronize pe intu one inch two ko. Management interface sync kada gani configuration ke sync kaidi kada. Yadi host inbound traffic kani sync kaidi kada. IP address sync kada do management. CMD IP. Ping 192.168.0.1 Ping out on the and FXP interface ping out on the Gani then flow show system services web management HTTP on the so set zone huh? Then again, someone know someone the last rep management traffic can <sighs> Said security zone sec uh, uh, functional zone management interfaces FXP zero. See FXP zero. This cannot be configured in a zone. One minute. Actually, yesterday this worked very fine with us.
సిఎస్ డిఫాల్ట్ రౌట్ ఈస్ దేర్ set groups node 1 system backup router they have given a ip address this so this command is required డెస్టినేషన్ ఓహో బ్యాకప్ రౌటర్ హియర్ డెస్టినేషన్ destination 10.0.0. డాట్ జీరో డాట్ జీరో డాట్ ఏదో ఒక ఐపీ అడ్రస్ ఓ వాట్ ఈస్ మై మేనేజ్మెంట్ ఇంటర్ఫేస్ ఐపీ బట్ దీంతో సంబంధం లేదు నిన్న నేను ఎఫ్ఎక్స్పీ ఇంటర్ఫేస్ యాడ్ చేసి మేనేజ్ కూడా చేశాను వెబ్ మేనేజ్మెంట్ ఎస్టీటీ అందులో ఇక్కడ హోస్ట్ ఇన్బౌండ్ ట్రాఫిక్ ఏమన్నా చూడు ఇప్పుడు ఇదే కావాలంటే మనము రెత్ జీరో ఇంటర్ఫేస్ యాడ్ చేసి ట్రై చేయొచ్చు చెక్ చేసుకోవాలనుకుంటే అప్పుడు కంపల్సరీ యాడ్ కావాలి ఐదు గంటలు ఇప్పుడు వస్తాను చూడు అదే యూజర్ బ్యాకప్ రౌటర్ ఓకే సో యూజర్ నేమ్ ఈజ్ రూట్ పాస్వర్డ్ లాగిన్ ఇన్ టు దిస్ ఫస్ట్ వన్ ఈజ్ యాంటీ వైరస్ దెర్ ఆర్ టూ డిఫరెంట్ టైప్స్ ఆఫ్ యాంటీ వైరసెస్ ఇన్ జునిపర్ వన్ ఈజ్ ఎక్స్ప్రెస్ యాంటీ వైరస్ బై క్యాస్పర్ స్కై సెకండ్ వన్ ఈజ్ ఫుల్ యాంటీ వైరస్ బై యూజింగ్ సోఫోస్ ఓకే both will maintain a local database in your juniper srx device every time if you install uh, kaspersky it will update signatures from kaspersky server if you install sophos it will purchase from sophos server so here look into your licenses which will tell you what licenses you have సి క్యాస్పర్స్కై యాంటీ వైరస్ ఓకే 
which is helpful for you in terms of blocking and virus packets okay and so force full scan antivirus there are two different antiviruses here antivirus with so force engine okay so what what's difference between uh, kaspersky and uh, antivirus is uh, uh, so force is kaspersky is a uh, flow based antivirus scan assume like that you have 100 packets each and every packet is uh, you know based on your mtu value of your interface each and every packet will be seg uh, you know fragmented or segmented into multiple pieces on flow each and every packet will verify assume like that there is a virus code which also will be segregated into multiple packets in one packet you won't get entire signature so there is a chance of malicious packet goes into your network so recommended is sophos antivirus both nobody will purchase any one will purchase because we are into training we purchased both okay in real time we'll purchase uh, people will purchase either kaspersky or sophos okay this is first product okay and second one is web filtering web filtering as we know i want my employee to restrict my employee to browse a particular website it might be uh, are based on category at that time we will be using web filtering so third one is anti spam what is spam system generated mails comes under spam not human interference generated system generated there are multiple types of spam one is system generated data second one is from blacklisted ip address from blacklisted ip address most of beam telecom act ip addresses are blacklisted right because multiple traffic will be generated so if you, if you are uh, uh, ip address from where you are sending is blacklisted at the time that I, that that mail will goes to spam so they will maintain who will maintain that blacklist information actually this signature is purchased from surf control this is purchased from surf control which is a third party organization right now got acquired by watchguard previously surf control is maintained by websense previously surf control is mentioned by websense right now it is maintained by watchguard surf control is an organization websense got acquired by force point right we know websense got acquired by force point that's why this uh, surf control is now maintained by watchguard if you want surf control test a site that will give you watchguard uh, see here what it is saying now watchguard because surf control now given by watchguard okay so now understand assume like that i have a website comes under which category is it spammed website or is it comes under which category at the time this will be testing that site and tell you which category it comes under based on the random content this comes under computing and internet category like that so this surf control is used to identify now how to identify my ip address is blacklisted or not what is my ip.com okay so there are lot of sites which will do blacklist removal lot of sites remove blacklist removal especially first to check out in mx toolbox you give your ip address it will tell you which product will identify your ip address as a blacklisted ip address most of the time barracuda firewalls will be blocking very tightly about spam and uh, you know this barracuda firewalls we notice you are on a blacklist most of ips if you are using spam as as your gateway production then you are identified as blacklisted okay see here so force is not identifying me as blacklisted okay barracuda is not identifying my site as blacklisted 
all the web filtering companies will be mentioned over here okay assume like that now you are you are listed what you need to do you need to complain to your isp they will talk to these guys and they will remove that from blacklist or else if a company is using spammers gen as their anti spamming engine then all your mails which will go from your ip address will go into spam not onto not onto inbox okay so this kind of spamming will be identified and spam control support is given to juniper by surf control surf control is organization which provides anti spamming feature and not even a single feature of this is of this see here web filtering also surf control see here web filtering of surf control idp intrusion detection and prevention system anti spamming by using sbl sbl is nothing but a feature of spam has spam has is having different features spam has is having blacklist spam blacklist spam has dot org this is a site which will provide to our this is part of sbl means any blacklisted ip addresses part of this blacklist of this will be identified as spam they will be day by day working on it to identify which are the spamming sites they have multiple uh, you know sbl xbl pbl base listing exploit base listing called xbl policy block listing called as pbl okay so they purchase this service from once again spammers websense for web filtering we know what is websense force point right now name got changed force point okay so application signatures app id see here application signatures fine so these are the licensed features without license it won't work you can't test this in your vms okay now understand i have security policies defined i have security policies defined so you have these security policies now i want to define and uh, see currently from local mission i am trying to log in i am trying to download a virus file okay so what i am trying to download is uh, eicar.org i am trying to download a malicious file eicar test download file i am trying to download a malware file see it's downloading right now what i need to do i need to enable my antivirus i need to enable my antivirus so what i am going to do profile type i am using kaspersky if you want to use any other you need to click on to sophos engine not on to kaspersky engine because i clicked on default kaspersky now i want to use this engine you can enable this edit it and enable this so now i am using kaspersky engine okay edit it it will scan all the traffic see here profile type is kaspersky content size limit is 10000 bytes means a file which is more than 10 mb will be identified as bigger size so bigger size whatever decision you take accept or drop the based on that it will do scan all files or scan files only with specific extension that exe only i want to scan or that uh, pdf only i want to scan no i want to scan all the files see here file back settings default action is log and permit what i am saying block if a file is corrupted block it if a compression is not happening block it if content size is more than 10 10 mb you want to allow or block you have to specify here when engine is not ready block that particular attack okay when out of resource when your memory got overloaded at the time if you are getting too many requests block notification option if you have configured snmp alert will go to snmp no i i will configure a email address here see here you can configure 
mail recipient mail server your mail server here so whenever some virus is identified blocked it will send a mail a mail message to you so what message you want to send block anti virus with this name you will get a message okay i applied private edit is on use mm, because of cluster never utm features will work on cluster interface not recommended will first disable our cluster i am disabling my cluster first so how to disable cluster login into both the devices exit okay set cluster set chassis cluster disable reboot okay ఈ కిందది మళ్ళీ రీబూట్ చేద్దు రాదు అని ఆశ రత్తు ఓకే జస్ట్ విల్ ఎనేబుల్ ఫీచర్ దట్స్ ఇట్ నథింగ్ వీఆర్ గోయింగ్ టు డూ గ్రేట్ హియర్ ఇన్ యూటిఎం వాట్ విల్ డూ యూ ఎనేబుల్ యాంటీ వైరస్ ఫీచర్ యూ విల్ అప్లై టు ద పాలసీ యూ విల్ క్రియేట్ అప్లై పాలసీ వన్స్ యూ అప్లై టు దట్ పాలసీ వాట్ హ్యాపెన్స్ ఎనీ వైరస్ ఈస్ డౌన్లోడింగ్ ప్యాకెట్ విల్ బీ ఇన్స్పెక్టెడ్ త్రూ యాంటీ వైరస్ ఇట్ విల్ బ్లాక్ same url filtering what we will do we will block certain sites remember if you want to do https sites once again you need to create an ssl profile in your in your juniper srx okay and you need to install that certificate in all the client systems remember that we have seen in 14net juniper uh, checkpoint and all this stuff right for you guys you have seen same way first what you need to do either you need to have an internal certification authority server or you need to purchase a certification authority server from third party
let it load so just what we'll do we'll create a profile of antivirus utm profile which we we'll call it as we'll apply to the existing policy we will apply to the zone okay we logged in now what i am doing is i am making it factory default or else what happens <coughs> all the interfaces fxp interfaces all the stuff will be enabled in this <coughs> oh shit I didn't remove in this. I, I need to connect to uh, my upper box. Exit. This is another box. Exit. Uh, what I need to do is set chassis cluster disable reboot and this. Okay, perfect. This is the box which we deleted from cluster. Sarat, you know, What is the rendered key? Juno, sir. Rondo, ASA lab. ESXIE V center. Okay, configure load factory default delete security delete interfaces delete protocols delete ethernet switching options delete vlans delete system services set system root authentication plain text password remember if license is not there you can't uh, configure anything related to this uh, antivirus anti-spam uh, web filter all these are licensed features you can't check into your VMs I am uh, currently I am not in a cluster. I am directly using it from my internal internal interface only. My internal interface is acting as uh, this. How do I need uh, all this setup? Let it be. Tomorrow, however, this will remove.
Oh, ah, this will act as IDS, IPS okay, based on okay. license. Okay, like, uh, ah. based on, uh, See, it can any firewall will act as network based only, okay. not host based. Okay, okay. Firewall will act as network based only. See, host based means you want you are protecting this system okay. from attacks. You will install in this. That is host based. Yeah, yeah. Whereas network based means at a network entry point, like. Uh, the perimeter level, you will deploy a network based IDS. One interface will keep it in promiscuous mode. Okay? Give me one second. One interface will keep in promiscuous mode. So, what happens? Each and every packet which is sitting to network, going out of network, will be kept into mirroring, monitoring kind of promiscuous mode. It is nothing but mirroring. There we will deploy IDS, this one. So what happens? Any attack happening from internal to external or external to internal, that will be captured. Done? Sarat? Uh, okay. No problem, no problem. Fine. So I am making this system as... Okay, even the lepe say GE 0 slash 0 slash 0. I am using as LAN. Render it to it only PK say it. LAN of an goal on the game of Lano, Okaman, connect just like Chesarat. Oh, no, 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 Delete protocols, delete VLANs, delete system services, set system root authentication, plain text password, commit. ఇప్పుడు <laughs> Kind of type endi. Pay the name you use just So you pay the lano vanu the nigga to the nigga na goti. Let's go. Let's run it. Ne the nigga to the nigga cable na ki. 
ఇంటర్నెట్ నుంచి వచ్చిన కేబుల్ దానికి పెట్టిండు ఓకేనా పర్ఫెక్టా నో కమిట్ కంప్లీట్ సో ఈ కింద బాక్స్ను నేను నేను షట్ డౌన్ చేస్తాను ఎప్పుడైనా గుర్తుపెట్టుకోస్తారా నువ్వు రిక్వెస్ట్ సిస్టమ్ షట్ డౌన్ కొట్టి సిస్టమ్ పవర్ ఆఫ్ అయినా కొట్టుకో హాల్ట్ అయినా కొట్టుకో ఓకే అప్పుడే తర్వాతే తర్వాత ఈ కింద పవర్ బటన్ ఉంటుంది పవర్ బటన్ ప్రెస్ చేయి ఓకే సో రైట్ నా ఐఎమ్ ఇన్ వన్ మిషన్ వాట్ ఐఎమ్ డూయింగ్ సెట్ సిస్టమ్ సెట్ సిస్టమ్ సెట్ ఇంటర్ఫేస్ జిఈ జీరో స్లాష్ జీరో స్లాష్ జీరో లైక్ అవర్ ప్రీవియస్ క్లాసెస్ ఆల్ ప్రీవియస్ క్లాసెస్ మై జీరో ఈజ్ వర్కింగ్ యాజ్ ఇంటర్నల్ సెట్ సెక్యూరిటీ జోన్ సెక్యూరిటీ ఐఫన్ జోన్స్ ట్రస్ట్ ఇంటర్ఫేస్ జిఈ జీరో స్లాష్ జీరో స్లాష్ జీరో సెట్ సెక్యూరిటీ జోన్స్ సెక్యూరిటీ ఎఫ్ అండ్ జోన్ అండ్ ట్రస్ట్ ఇంటర్ఫేస్ జిఈ జీరో స్లాష్ జీరో స్లాష్ వన్ సెట్ సెక్యూరిటీ జోన్ ట్రస్ట్ సెక్యూరిటీ ఎఫ్ అండ్ జోన్స్ ట్రస్ట్ పోస్ట్ ఇన్బౌండ్ ట్రాఫిక్ సిస్టమ్ సర్వీసెస్ ఆల్ సెట్ సిస్టమ్ సర్వీసెస్ హెచ్టీటీపీ ఓ వెబ్ మేనేజ్మెంట్ హెచ్టీటీపీ ఎస్ఎస్హెచ్ ఓ ఎస్ఎస్హెచ్ సెట్ సెక్యూరిటీ పాలసీస్ ఫ్రమ్ జోన్ ట్రస్ట్ to zone untrust policy lan to net match source or oh, address book set security zone security even zone trust address book address uh, lan సెట్ సెక్యూరిటీ పాలసీ ఫ్రమ్ జోన్ ట్రస్ట్ టు జోన్ అండ్ ట్రస్ట్ పాలసీ ల్యాండ్ టు నెట్ మ్యాచ్ సోర్స్ అడ్రస్ సోర్స్ అడ్రస్ ఈజ్ ల్యాండ్ మ్యాచ్ డెస్టినేషన్ ఎనీ మ్యాచ్ అప్లికేషన్ ఎనీ దెన్ పర్మిట్ దెన్ పర్మిట్ సెట్ సెక్యూరిటీ నాట్ సోర్స్ రూల్ సెట్ 
RS1 from zone trust to zone untrust rule R1 match source IP address then then source NAT interface okay everything comes here Perfect. Now okay so what I am configuring here now go to configure security UTM antivirus enable what you want to configure this is because of flash player Is my Windows 7? Yes. because of flash it is giving like that so I am using updated browser so security UTM antivirus okay so I am going to Kaspersky default uh, antivirus that is Juno's AV default I'm setting up action default action as block corrupted file block password with any file which is more than content size is block when user is not ready then it is block when too many requests that is block enable enable the configuration method called click on commit this will say ok so what I am going to do I am writing a define and UTM policy I am writing an UTM policy see here define UTM policy see this this is configured already Juno's AV policy is configured see here we have antivirus Juno's AV default configured so apply you need to apply this configuration to your default policy this is your default policy in this go to application services 
and add that particular configuration which you have done. See, enable UTM policy, Junos AB. Okay, I enabled a UTM policy. Okay, now what I am going to do, I am going to commit it. Until and unless we commit the change, until and unless we commit the change, changes won't be replicated. Okay, success. Now how to verify? Go to the same EICR.org site. Click on download. Click on download the same file. What it is saying? Virus warning. But HTTPS it will download. See here. This is a through HTTPS SSL enable. This will be downloaded. To avoid this what you need to do? You need to create a certificate and all the stuff that comes under your uh, next level JNCIP. Okay, here we enabled our antivirus. Antivirus is getting blocked if it is coming through plain text protocols. If it is through encrypted text protocol, what you need to do? You need to create a self-signed certificate. You need to create a self-signed certificate and you need to install that certificate to Install that certificate to your browser, your uh, uh, you know all system, all clients, all clients browsers. Okay, that we are we have in our uh, next level training. Okay, now next one is web filter. How to do web filter? Already we know web filtering is to block a particular website. Okay. You will apply a web filter, web, web filter profile or you can use a existing web filter using WebSense you want to block or using local if you say local what happens I am going to create my own web filter okay block sites local and default action is block you are blocked is the message log out log and you need to create a you need to create a local file with sites which urls you want to block you need to specify your based on file name you want to block Based on URL you want to block, based on URL category list you want to block. So I am saying based on URL category list. You specify which sites you do, you want to block. So first you need to add, what happened to add? So URL pattern. I am saying pattern name block sites, pattern value www dot cisco dot com I want to block www dot juniper dot net I want to block specify star dot checkpoint dot com I want to block say okay you created your own custom object with the name block sites go to your web filtering and in your profile you specify that you created block sites right juniper local okay what action you have specified is block this is local so fallback options are block now what you are going to do you are going to check out this is juniper local 
दिस इज जूनिपर लोकल यू अप्लाई दिस वेब फिल्टर पॉलिसी टू योर यूटीएम यू अप्लाई योर वेब फिल्टर पॉलिसी टू गो टू यूटीएम पॉलिसी यूटीएम पॉलिसी इन जुनोस ए वी पॉलिसी एडिट एट एंड अप्लाई दैट वेब फिल्टर विच यू क्रिएटेड यू क्रिएटेड ए वेब फिल्टर कॉल्ड ब्लॉक साइट्स राइट ऑलरेडी दिस जुनोस ए वी पॉलिसी इज अप्लाइड इन योर पॉलिसी इफ यू वॉन्ट टू चेकआउट चेकआउट जुनोस इज हैविंग ए वी इन योर डिफॉल्ट पॉलिसी यू टी एम पॉलिसी इज एनेबल्ड विच इज एनेबल्ड इन यू टी एम यू कैन चेकआउट इयर यू टी एम पॉलिसी इज एनेबल्ड दर इज जुनोस ए वी पॉलिसी ओके so what happens this policy is automatically replicated now you want to check out commit we didn't committed it try to browse the sites which you blocked this through command line nobody will write because command line how many statements you will write for this so this it is recommended to write utm features you recommended to write and graphical हम्म चलो भाई वो भी जो फाइल हो इंपोर्ट कैसे करते हैं ये डाउन फाइल से हम्म वो भी ये चाहिए तो वो भी ये चाहिए okay now if you want to check out browse a site which is blocked www.cisco.com eh yeah. clear cache clear cache clear cache my suspicion is if something is part of cache that will come i am trying with juniper.net Still, it is working. Means we have done somewhere mistake. I'll do one thing. Local, we we blocked local, right? UDP web filter. Block sites. Local is selected, right? Local is selected. okay add profile name block okay local list here we have we have to mention block block list block this is extension based blocking as well as content based blocking here you can specify this is for advanced level content filtering like i don't want all the uh, filters to run see here file name extension is default protocol is default block sites what we specified block sites we specified right okay okay url categories are here based on surf control these are taking so instead of creating local we'll check with surf control we'll check with surf control so i'm using websense surf control integrated in my utm policy i'll specify surf control i'll specify surf control 
okay utm policy define utm policy instead of me to specify my own i am adding web filtering as sub control the cpa default in surf control default is check out here in surf control default is i can filter out what are the sites i want to log and permit is their action i specified block and url categories what are the categories i want to block chart i want to block category search engine are it should give us categories surf control category for example job site i want to make it block mm -hmm. this is default category we need to edit into default category and we need to change the we need to edit into default category see here only for testing purpose what i am going to do currently uh chart i am saying value is not predefined in surf control i want to make it as drop we can write it actually where we can write check out edit no no this is fine this is predefined url categories we can define our own url category actually see here this block list is there right we can specify our own uh, uh, categories custom objects content filtering i will add my own uh, object that is better i will add my own so however i ha here i have added is specified block itself but block block here we have to add our category list here it should show all the categories actually if you click on this about top down button okay i'll do one thing so right now chart i want to block add to block chart i kept into block once again i'll log in into that chart this should block actually i'll do one thing i'll delete and i will add a particular category category games block select category and action to add category it's not showing category it's not showing right check with license whether we have license of content filtering or not hello okoka half an hour batachu sure 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 okay fine give me one second we are filtering let's see Juniper SRX customized web filter local web filtering okay 
Oh, command line. Okay. JWeb. We'll see JWeb. I have given command line. See here. Set security, custom object, URL pattern. We created URL pattern only. URL list and we added this HTTP colon slash slash. This should not be browsed. Right, the same we, we have done. Using JWeb. Using JWeb. You are going to see. First is license, you have to check. However, license is there for us. Web filtering. Click on global options. Juniper enhanced tab. Okay. Global options. Hurry. Here we have Juniper enhanced. Okay. Tab case timeout and you can configure this. Okay. Cache is not a big deal. Cache is not a big deal. Go to configure security UTM. Go to configure security UTM. This one. Web filter. And add. Add a profile. However, we added a profile called block sites. Add a profile. Why Junior Enhanced is not added? Add a profile. Juniper enhanced is added because right now we created block 2 we are giving name make it as Juniper enhanced okay safe search profile give any any name and specify safe search okay profile name and specify safe search say okay okay safe search say okay first let it commit after that only you can add after that only you can add your URL category. Oh, this where we done mistake. See here. In URL category action, you specify whatever categories you want to block or whatever categories you want to allow. Now here it shows all the categories. Right. As I told you, like this categories need to show. Okay. And for this, what action I am specifying? For uh, category enhanced adult material, I want to block it add then for the first time only we will do all the things uh, for gambling my action is block if you didn't specify the permit everything will be blocked by default okay so key loggers phishing network errors dynamic content see here whatever you want you specify it okay just for testing purpose what I am giving proxy sites block add I applied block 2 as my web filtering I applied block 2 as my web filtering only I blocked the proxy sites okay in UTM policy I applied a UTM policy called Juno AV policy in that I am editing and giving web filter as block 2 okay now commit now action commit now you try to browse the site web filter now you want to add a url list previously we added a url list right without content filtering we added right now we'll add a custom url list to block you can see how to block now we blocked all the proxy sites right Proxy avoidance, what uh, action is specified? Block. No proxy site should not be browsed. Okay. Okay, perfect. Now check out by browsing some proxy site. I am browsing a site called hidemyass.com which is a proxy site. Array. 
it should not come actually oh http yes it is any http sites mm, this become big challenge we can do one thing uh, any http site related to it or downloads or something wait 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 sports sports site i am taking vcricket.com is a sports site right vcricket.com is a sports site which is http not https we'll try to block in the same web filtering you add your url list what you created in custom you add your url list okay now vcricket.com why what it is crick info.com sports it should not come right first check out whether we have licenses updated or not go to maintain license license 29 days more it is showing right so here 27 days still we have license oh 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 see here 2404-2014 expired update trial now I'm updating my trial license if you update trial license you will get once again 30 days trial because these are licensed features if license is not there those are not going to work okay no not updated see here still it is showing old date only still it is showing only old date we can try with some other uh, you know filter content filtering because licenses are mandatory to build this kind of security thing profile block block info permitted commands we don't have any permitted or blocked commands blocked extensions I am blocking based on default extensions exes I want to block okay Juno's default extensions just remember Juno's default extensions are the extensions which we blocked just to try because it is not based on the license okay check out your default extensions what are default extensions blocked these are default extensions blocked check out whether exe are part of this or not yes exes are blocked now you give commit Juno's default extensions are blocked url pattern also part of this
now check out here we created one url pattern list right okay we created one url uh, pattern list in this same custom object we will apply that url pattern list also into this content filtering but it is not showing right not updated i hope now we will commit and try to download exe because that is nowhere need to test license and uh, filter it will it will block download from filehippo.com I'm trying to download some exe see here content due to content size it is not blocked based on exe we have mentioned in previous uh, one content size is more than 10 mbps block right more than 10 mb block we have given here in av what we have given more than 10 mb it should block for antivirus scan what we specified here more than 10 mb what we specified here size block if you say permit see here that will download because of license this is not applying that block itself is clearly telling you that this is blocked because of size not based on extension means we're filtering license is not taking so just what we need to do just create a filter whether block or allow you need to specify and apply that policy to your web filter policy your existing policy is there right to that you need to define in utm policy that's it action will be taken from that okay see here now refresh it drop due to maximum content size this is not blocked based on maximum content size because content size what we kept see here edit what we kept content size if content size is more log and permit so this is not blocked based on that so see here just we'll see how to do it because of license we can't do it how to do it is web filter <coughs> create one web filter object okay create one web filter object and specify your type of license and action okay default action and specify in that only you specify your url list or content list which you want to block see your url category list url category list you specify what are the categories you want to allow or what are the categories you want to block okay safe sites harmful sites block suspicious size block fairly safe log and permit moderately safe log and permit very safe permit okay here whatever the custom categories which we add that should come here actually now we create one edit pro one profile here we create one profile we add that profile to we add that profile to utm policy utm policy see here i added this profile to this junos av policy and apply that policy to or else now what i am doing i am upload i am applying junos av and firewall policy see here antivirus should be junos av web filtering should be block 2 okay even anti spam we need to do the same apply that policy to your previously it is junos av policy now i am making it as junos av and previously application policy is junos av now i am making it as junos av and web filter policy by this only is showing 
So here, Juno's AV and web filter policy applied, apply it. Now check out by going here. Now check out by going here. See here it's downloading. Because we didn't kept that web filter profile which we created. Okay. We are keeping it from different profile. Still it is allowing because of this. Same web filter but process we know right. Process what we need to do. Create a web filter profile. Add that web filter profile to UTM policy. Replicate that UTM policy into your security policy. Even anti-spam also do the same thing. We don't know spamming sites, right? Which site is spam site, we don't know. So go to anti-spamming. By default, self-control is there as well as Juno's default spam is there. See here. If any email is coming from spam, you want to block it or you want to allow by adding a tag as spam. Okay? This will take from spam as you can't do anything else. Take add profile name is uh, FLS anti spam EIS. Okay, I want to block that particular email which is spam email. Any spam email I want to block. Create anti spam here. Go to your UTM policy. Add that anti spam into your UTM policy which you currently applied. I currently applied AV even WF policy. AV even WF policy. Here I am going to apply my anti spam. Even content filtering also. You need to apply your content filtering here itself. Okay. Once you apply this, then any spam mail is coming that will get dropped. Licenses are not there because of that we can't able to see this. But you can apply it right easy. That's it. So this is about our UTM features of Juniper. You can uh, 